Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my welcome back to my channel so today guys i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be something different you know i wrote down some questions myself and i just thought you know what it's time for you guys to get to know me it's time for you guys to know when i started doing hair why i started doing hair you know what's my inspiration why i started doing youtube etc so I just thought, let me do this video for you guys. Let me talk a bit, you know, because I've done like two tutorials now and I've done an introduction. The introduction doesn't really talk much about me. So now I thought, let me, you know, put down some questions and come talk to you guys about why I started this journey and, you know, things that inspired me or, you know, people that spoke to me or people that were supporting me. And, you know, I feel like I've come a long way. So I, this is what I feel like. Let me do a video for you guys. This makeup look was inspired by my friend. She knows herself and she's watching this video right now. Cause if she's not, we're gonna fight. But anyway, so this look was inspired by one of my close friend and um i was just here minding my business Literally, she was like oh caddy you should try this look i saw obviously she saw a look on insta and she sent it to me and the funny thing is the girl had similar hair color she does the same hair color and i said, i've bleached this hair a long time ago i've had this hair a long time ago and it was just there and i was like oh i actually have the same the same hair color why not and so I was like, let me try the makeup because this is something that I've never done before. I sent a video to her and she was like, oh my God. But yeah, so literally she gave me this inspiration and um, I really like it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. Um, yeah, and what you guys think about the makeup. And, you know, and let's get straight into the video. Let's go. The first thing is, um, what was it? I took down some notes, guys. Don't judge me. So, the first thing is, obviously, like I said, this is just to get to know me video. And I wrote down some questions myself, you know, and what I want to talk to you guys about. So, I started doing hair from a very young age. Like I started doing hair like since I was in Sierra Leone. When I say doing hair, I don't mean like doing proper hair. I started doing like kids, like, you know, kids hair, started playing around with my mom's hair. And literally I was just playing around with it. And deep down, I never knew I had this gift to do hair. And the thing is my mom used to do hair as well. And I used to see her do hair. I just used to play around with it. And I used to think, you know, it's just, it's just hair and when um i came to this country i came to this country at the age of nine and um so when i came to this country i just thought you know what i was um obviously living with my auntie and i used to do my grandma's hair i used to do my auntie's hair i used to do like other kids hair but i wasn't as good as i am today so literally i felt like that was just like a practice for me like weave wasn't a thing for me like weave wasn't like something that i was excited about something that i was you know and the funny thing is when it came to braids it was so weird when i was young like when i was in secondary school i never wanted to do braids because back then people used to make fun of braids i know this sounds so weird but back then it's like it wasn't a thing when i started growing up and then i went to college and everything i feel like that's when like braids started coming out more like i could see people do it and everything so i used to just do like i said i used to just do hair for the sake of it i never really thought of it as like a business thing i just used to do it and um so literally I started doing other people's hair at this point when i got to college i started doing one or two people hair like family friends cousins etc and i was just doing it 
and like I said, I, I didn't really know much. I just used to do like um, threads, like single plaits and normal, um, normal plaits, like feedings, Ghana plaits and all of that. So I started learning these things and I'm the type of person like when I see something by me looking at it I already know what to do that's the type of person I am that's how I learn I can literally go on YouTube right now and look at a video and just by me looking at it I already know what to do and funny thing is sometimes I put things in my head like what I want to learn I literally think about it in my head and already I know what I want to do so this is how my like braiding journey started literally I was just doing it for the sake of you know doing it even though I liked it even my auntie used to like make fun of me and be like look at your little tiny hands look at the way you're holding the braids look at the way you're holding the hair like look at your small now it's something that like even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking about hair. When I go to work, because I work night shift, literally when I'm at work, I'm thinking about different ideas. Like literally when I started doing my night shift, that's when I started thinking of doing braiding wigs, for example. You know, I was doing normal braids, but then I never really had the inspiration to do braiding wigs. So when I was at work, literally I would think about things. This is just how my journey started. I never really thought I actually had the gift in me to like, to take it this far and um obviously i started taking it seriously in 2018 that's when i started taking it seriously i believe 2018 yeah yeah 2018 because um i have these friends of mine and i used to go and um visit them and um one time i went to visit them and there was a, a guy there that you know that works there and everything that i knew him as well so like one time when i went there and because he, he does like like drawing he does arts and stuff like that he draw like money he draw people like different things like he's so talented when i went there and um i was talking to him and then i was saying to him oh like i don't know what to do like obviously i feel like i have so many talents and you know i didn't know what to do and even though i knew i could do hair but i wasn't taking it seriously and i was doing it here and there but it wasn't something that i like i put my all in it if that makes sense so um when he was like okay i know you have different talents but you need to pick one talent or should i say one gift that you know will not just take you far but god would increase you in that gift and then i was like mm, that makes sense it's true so what what can i do and then i just thought to myself you know what i can do hair and hair is something i love and it's something that i have passion for so this is the best time for me to start and then he was like yeah that's what you should do because once you start doing that and you start taking it seriously that's the only way like god is going to establish you that's the only way god is going to bless you and then i was like that's true you know and at this time i wasn't even putting it out there like that i wasn't you know sharing my things as much as i am now i wasn't promoting myself as much as i am now so literally after that day and it wasn't just him even before that a few people have said to me caddy you're good at doing hair and um you know sometimes you just like to feel like it's not the time it's not this it's not that maybe you're not in the right state maybe you're not in the right environment or you don't have enough space for example where you're gonna do hair yeah. after that day i was like you know what i'm gonna take it seriously like it doesn't even matter where i'm gonna do it even if it means i have to go to people or they have to come to me i'm gonna take it seriously and then i started taking it seriously i started promoting i had one of my friend and i told her please help me like so that i can start like i can open an instagram you know her instagram page you know have my own email and everything and she really helped me and she gave me some ideas how to lay out the instru the in how to lay out my insta and so from that day i started putting it out that you know braids by cats obviously it wasn't braids by cats guys the amount of names yeah hmm. i think i went from unique hands i went from k2 hair <laughs> I don't even know where I got K2 hair from. I had, cause I literally went on my Facebook today and I saw it there. I started by K2 hair, I started by Unique Hand and then I went to Brace by K and then now it's Brace by Cads. And I feel like that's what I'm gonna stick with because literally 
like I had like messages like inspirational messages on my braiding page and obviously it came to a point I had to remove a lot of them because um, I felt like there was too many pictures on my braiding page like and then one of my friends was like just just put your hair stuff at least that way when people go on your page they just see all your hair stuff and then i was just like that's true so i literally had to delete a lot of things on my page and now i've done so many people here i've i've met a lot of amazing people like i talk to my clients my clients are so kind to me like the support they've been with me on this journey and i actually do appreciate them sometimes and the weird thing is normally people ask me have you had like a bad client the funny thing is regardless of maybe if i didn't do the job properly i never had a client that like abuse me or insult me or say something evil to me like they've all been so nice and i just pray that continues because what i'm doing i'm doing it with love i'm doing it with passion and i really love what i'm doing and i think people can see that and i just want to grow and you know become more and more you know a better person in what i'm doing i'm just so grateful to be here and um, i'm grateful to everyone my biggest inspiration is literally God and my mom if that makes sense like it's literally God and my mom because my mom like she's the type of person that she's very like hard working like she doesn't sit around and wait if she has to do something she does it she goes for what she wants etc and for me that's the kind of energy I have as well um when I want to like when I want to do something like for example with my hair I just put myself and I know that regardless of how things may look it's something that I love it's something that I'm gonna go for and it's something that I love so literally sometimes I'll go to work and I'll finish in the morning I'll come home and I'll be doing hair sometimes I won't even sleep like there was a time I went to do a night shift and then I came home I had three clients the same day after a night shift guys I don't think I'm ever gonna do that again because I almost died who said me? Literally, when I finished doing the hair, yeah, I was like, I was in bed shaking. Like, I was in bed shaking. And when I fell asleep, I was on my phone, guys. Literally, my phone dropped, dropped, like, it dropped on the bed without even, I don't even know what was going on. I was so tired. My mind was not here anymore. I was gone. And when I slept off, I didn't even know when I slept off. That's how tired I was. And I said to myself, I'm never doing that again. I know I love hair, but I can't come and kill myself, like literally. So yeah, so so that's how much I love what I'm doing. And God, like God has been so good to me. Like one thing I can say to you guys is that no matter how things get hard, no matter how impossible things may look, it could be in your education, it could be in your job, it could be something that you have passion about. I know people or friends that uh, have passion for makeup, have passion for the, for the, you know, for social media, have passion for different things. It could be music, it could be dancing, whatever you have passion for. Never give up. That's all I can say. Because if you give up, you never know what you can actually do with that talent you never know where that gift or that talent will take you and i know it's just the beginning for me because i know that god has so much more for me with with, with what i'm doing right now and i know god has so much for you as well whoever is watching me right now like don't ever lose faith like one thing that i can say i learned today is don't ever give up on yourself if God has not given up on you. There's something I can say to you guys. So I want you guys to just, you know, focus on yourself during this lockdown. Keep doing what you're doing. God's got you. God's got you. <laughs> but yeah, God's got you. Just keep doing what you're doing. And yeah, guys, and I'm going to bring more of these videos. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Caddy. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Sevilla. So for some of you that might be new to my channel. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so hungry, guys. I'm so hungry, but it's okay. Because after this video, I'm washing this off. Taking this off. And yeah, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go eat guys.
thank you guys so much for tuning in i love you guys so much and if you like this type of videos where i just talk my life away guys leave it in the comment below and i'll keep talking guys so don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe